We'll begin with building a, a new command with voice attack. So when you start voice attack up, you'll be presented with this screen here. What I'd like you to do is click on this down arrow and choose create a new profile. When you've done that, we've got the add a profile um, box, which means you can do many, many things here. You can import a profile, like a pre-configured set of commands and responses, like the one that we provide in the voice pack and import them into here so you can get up and running pretty much straight away. The aim of this is to just give you an understanding of how some of the commands work. So let's begin by personalizing this profile. We'll call it Paul, like that. And then we're going to start adding commands. So the first command I'm going to add is just a basic response um, with a sound file. So as opposed to text to speech or anything like that, we're just going to get it to respond with a preset sound file. So let's click new command. We've now got the add a command box. And in here, um, when, when I say this is a phrase you will say to issue a command to voice attack. So whatever you're going to say, you're issuing it to voice attack. Uh, when it recognizes that command, it will respond with whatever you've told it to respond with. And that's what we're going to do. So we'll just put in here, do you like responding to my commands? Okay, do you like responding to my commands? And we'll leave it just like that. Then we're going to get it to play a sound file when it hears me say that. So we click other. Uh, if this message comes up, just click OK. And you get this box. Uh, what we'll do in this drop down menu is we'll just tell it exactly what we want. We want it to play a sound. So from the voice pack, you can browse to the said response or one of the files from the categories and put it in here. So we'll browse to that now. So it's HCS voice pack. Um, you've got all of these folders in. And um, I'm looking for an acknowledgement here. So, you know, a yes, I do like listening to your commands. So, or affirmative or something like that. So if we go to acknowledgements, um, we can get her to say affirmative, or we can get her to say um, uh, yes or no, or anything like that. So what we'll do is we'll get her to say yes, quite simply. So we'll open that. We can preview that before we put it in just to confirm that it is yes. Yes. And indeed it is. And when we click OK, we've done that. Now in the description field, I'm just going to put what she does here. Um, yes. Or affirmative, something like that. That's what she's saying. So I'll put that in there. Category. Acknowledgements. Let's acknowledgements. That will do for now anyway. I probably misspelled it, but there we are. Um, but that will do for now. We'll put that in. And when we click OK, we just know that if we say, do you like responding to my commands, she'll respond to it. So if I click OK here and done here, do you like responding to my commands? Yes. And it's as simple as that each time you add uh, a said command. So that concludes how you add a new command.